Have you ever heard a bird that sounds like it's saying clear? Clear. Or a repetitive flicking sound that goes on in long sequences. If this sounds at all familiar, there's a good chance that the bird you're hearing is a northern flicker. And what I want to do in this video is break down some of the calls of the northern flicker. This is one of the first birds that I always highly recommend to people when they first start getting interested in bird language. Because this woodpecker is extremely common, it's very unique, and easy to identify by sight. And as you're going to see, it's also easy to identify by sound. And northern flickers just have so much to say that can help us interpret the natural world. Flickers really just have two or three main calls that will give you basically everything you need to understand this bird. The first one to know is this repetitious flicking sound. To me, it kind of sounds like they're saying the word flick over and over again at a steady pace and pitch. This call is very common, and in early spring, it's an indicator that the woodpeckers are beginning their mating process. They're getting ready to build their nests and start families. So you can use this call to learn all sorts of amazing things about the nesting process that goes on between male and female northern flickers. If you go in and watch where do they make these calls from, where do they fly to, follow them around for a bit, there's a very good chance that you'll be able to find their nest and be able to follow them through their nesting process. Hearing this call is also a really good indicator that the flickers are actually feeling safe to engage in their nesting process. And you'll notice that if a significant predator comes into the area, that their tendency to make this call could become a little bit suppressed. And that can be really useful information for you to help interpret what might be happening in that part of the forest. The other key thing to remember about this first flicker call is that it can be easily confused with the pileated woodpecker, which I also talked about in a recent video. <laughs> And learning to hear the difference between the flicker making this kind of sound and the pileated woodpecker making this kind of sound is a really helpful distinction to help you train your ears and start to be able to hear finer details within bird calls. And the real difference between these two is that the pileated woodpecker has a more variable pitch to their voice, and they also have a little bit more variation in terms of the rhythm of it. So at times it can almost seem to like speed up or slow down. <laughs> Whereas flickers, they tend to be very precise with both their rhythm and their pitch. And with just a little bit of practice listening to these differences between these two calls, you will find that it's actually quite easy to tell these two apart. And it gives you a really nice window into the world of flickers. Now, the second call that flickers make is what I like to call the clear call. It almost sounds like the flickers are saying clear with their voice. And it's extremely common. It's also a great way to identify this bird. So if you're listening to that repetitious flicking sound and you're not sure whether you're hearing a flicker or a pileated woodpecker, you're still kind of getting your ears tuned up with that. If you keep listening to that sound, you may very soon after start to hear these clear calls. And when you hear these things in association with each other, that can be another good way to help you identify the northern flicker and get your ears tuned up to the sounds that it makes. But one of the things that I love about this clear call is that it's actually very often used as an alarm call. Flickers will use the clear call both in situations where there's a predator right here, right now, and they're very close to it, they're looking at it, often gesturing towards it. And I got some really great footage of this when I was walking in the forest the other day and I started to hear a flicker making all these clear calls. And at first I wasn't really thinking too much of it, but then it kept going on and on and it was in this very repetitious sort of way. 
And so I wandered over and there was actually a barred owl there. And you can see how the flicker is just a few feet away from this barred owl. And in between making this call, they do this sort of dipping motion with their beak. And sometimes they were doing this dipping motion facing directly towards the owl, and other times they were facing a little bit away. But this is a very clear alarm that they're giving for the barred owl. And I was able to use this to find the owl. I've been able to use this to find hawks. And I've seen them do this for cats and all kinds of really cool animals that you can listen to the flickers and they will tell you where these animals are. And so it's a really good way to get a nice window into the natural world and what's happening behind the scenes in the forest. If you just start by learning these two main calls of the flicker, that will give you everything you need to have a really solid handle on the identification and some basic behavioral interpretation. And for the most part, everything else will kind of come along with that. As you listen and you get more experienced with this, you'll start to pick up on some of the other little subtleties. Like, for example, the flickers also have another call that they make. It's kind of like a flight call. They make this call when they're just moving positions and it's kind of like a way for them to let their partner know when they're moving to a different part of the forest, they'll make this call. And as you start to tune your ears to the flight call of the flicker, you'll start to hear it and that'll become a cue for you to look up. Flickers will also do drumming on trees and posts the same way that other woodpeckers do. This drumming, by the way, is also a really good indicator that there's a likely nest site nearby. So that can be another way to help you learn about the nesting habits of northern flickers. So make northern flickers one of the first birds you learn by ear, and they will take you on amazing adventures. They're really fun to watch. They have a lot to say about the landscape. And they will get you ready to learn some of the more difficult bird sounds. And if you want to actually have copies of these sounds that you can download and listen to, I'll put a link below this video to where you can go and download these calls and listen to them a bunch. And that will go a long way to help you really learn this bird. So have fun out there listening to the flickers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.